So hello everyone, this is Akshay here and welcome back to the end of the great day of the QTD streak of day 165. So if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe so that we can learn, grow and maintain our streak together. So without wasting any further time, let us see what the today's question is about. The today's question name is minimum steps required and the tax given here as greedy. So let us see what the question says. So given a string str consisting of only two characters a and b. So Okay, you need to find the minimum steps required to make the string empty by removing the consecutive a and b. Okay, so in every step we can remove consecutive a or b. This question is simple, I guess. This must be more complex if we have different characters and we have to remove empty string. So maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, two characters, so maybe this is easy to do. Okay, so the first string we have bb, triple a bb. So how it is, two is coming is that what they are saying is that let's say you have b, triple a, b and b, right? You want you you uh, you need to find the minimum number of ways so that you can remove uh, you can make this string empty right and if first and the operation you can do is that you can remove a consecutive number of characters so that if you follow the greedy approach right so I agar ye directly main dekh pa raha like i i do the manual run i can i can clearly see if i just remove these all three consecutive a's then you have a step one and then the three four consecutive b's will be there and i can remove all the b's and you can have step two right so you get greedy approach agar main greedily nahi padta to main kya bolta ki let's say uh, let's remove uh, the characters which are occurring, uh, let's say consecutive starting from the higher i equals to zero. So, first I remove this from the bb, ko, and then you have a, I already used a step one, and then maybe I could have a, a, uh, deleted these three a's and then step two, and then uh, these three b's and then step three, right? So, this greedy approach is that uh, whatever we are saying as per our advantage, we are taking that step. Okay. If so, this question, let's say, I asked in interview, pucha tha, tha, what could be the, my first answer would be? I would say that uh, since we want to find the minimum steps, so let us find the characters which has the maximum consecutive uh, frequency. Okay. So I would say, okay. So in that case, I would have removed this, these three A's, right? Uh, let's forget about the code. How you would find? I approach it that I would just uh, maybe using a for loop and then finding the maximum consecutive uh, frequency of a particular character, right? So I can see that B is over two times and again B is two times. There is only A which is repeating three times. So I this window and I this window delete it. And then the uh, remaining characters I would have B B four times B and I've already deleted three times A so I have step one uh, use for then I could have deleted these four B's and then step two but is this my approach right right uh, uh, and to verify your approach is right or not we must uh, uh, take some more cases right so agar main dekho, let's take another case let's say a double A B A and double A so according to my brute force technique which I just said जो मेरे को क्वेश्चन देखते ही लग रहा था मैं क्या करता सबसे पहले डबल ए को रिमूव करता बिकॉज़ ये ज्यादा फ्रीक्वेंसी में ज्यादा है राइट एक साथ और फिर मैं इस डबल ए को रिमूव करता तो ऑलरेडी यूज्ड टू स्टेप एंड देन आई वुड हैव सिंस बी और बी जो है वो भी अकेले प्रेजेंट है एंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वन एंड ए बी एंड सिमिलरली दीस आर प्रेजेंट सिंगल टाइम्स तो मैं क्या करता पहले बी को रिमूव करता फिर बी और फिर ए तो मैं टोटल स्टेप्स होते थे फाइव ठीक है बट इसको करने का अगर मैं ग्रेडी अप्रोच देखूं राइट दैट आई कैन विजुअली सी कि अगर मैं इस बी को हटा दूं तो स्टेप वन और फिर अगर एक और बी को हटा दूं तो स्टेप टू एंड देन आई कैन सी दैट आई हैव फाइव कंजिक्यूटिव ए इन लाइन तो इन जस्ट वन स्टेप आई कैन डिलीट ऑल दो फाइव कंजिक्यूटिव ए एंड माई टोटल स्टेप विल भी थ्री राइट तो ठीक है तो अब मेरे को समझ में आ रहा है कि मैं जो ब्रूट फोर्स सोचा वो काम नहीं करने वाला है सो हाउ कैन वी हाउ कैन आई प्रोसीड अहेड राइट तो आई कैन आई आई एम सेंग दैट लेट इज काउंट the visual uh, violation points and what are the violation points here are uh, by violation points I'm saying that uh, just increment the count for the character if it is not equals to the uh, just behind the character of it so if b here and if the, if, the, if the character in the left of it is different then increment the count that is it is a violation point and I can ask that how do I click on the violation point he find karna. because you know bola tha ki you, you can uh, delete any consecutive same characters right so we can't delete when characters mismatch. Let's say triple A and B. Right? Otherwise, if there are 4, I would delete 4. So that means we don't have number of violation points. Maybe it will become a pattern. And uh, before proceeding ahead with the question, this question, manne, uh, like, while, while I was preparing for my placements, so I solved it in So, okay. So this is the question. I have made a video very quickly. Okay. So let us count the violation points and let us deduce some pattern. So this is one. So this character and the behind character is not equal. And again, this at this point, the again, this particular, uh, this is the current character is A and the behind is B. So not equal, the violation points. Then again, then again, this will be count three and then again count four, right? So in this particular string, you have a count as four. So let us, while greedily solving this problem, 
I already know that if I delete this first B and then second B, I would be getting the minimum number of steps. So let us do that and see that how our violation points and answer are in any relations or not, right? So I have removed and my string changes to triple A, B, double A, right? Now how many violation points are there? This is one and two. So violation points are two, right? And I know greedily that if I remove this B, then my answer will be very quickly. So now your uh, number of uh, your uh, uh, what updated string will be con uh, comprises of five consecutive A's, and you can delete all the A's, and the number of violation points here is zero, right? Okay. So, a pattern. What is showing me is you have let's say four equals to n, right? And then what you are doing? You are going to n minus two. Then again, you are going to n minus four, right? Until this thing reaches zero. Right, and how many times you are subtracting it? You just maintain the count of it, right? So this is the this is the uh, step one, this is step two, and this is step three. As soon as you reach a zero, what will whatever be is your step, you can return the answer. So for this thing, so when I got the violation point, I can clearly run a for loop for this, right? But let us verify for some more test cases that our this pattern is actually it will actually work or not, right? So let us say some more test cases. So let's say B B. And triple A and B and B. So let me uh, use a different color. So the violation points will be first here one, and then two, right? Okay. So यहाँ पे violation points two हो गए. And greedily I know कि अगर मैं इसको remove करूँ तो minimum number of characters, minimum number of steps में string को empty बना दूँगा. So now your current characters, uh, current string will have four times B and there is no number of violation points. So again मैं देखूँ n है तो ये अगर n minus two है. And whenever you are reaching zero, just uh, this is your step one and this is your step two right just do step plus plus whenever your n reaches to zero while decrementing it by two but uh, these are all the test cases jahan pe violation points hamisha even aa raha hai so let uh, let us uh, try run for some more cases so let's try run for a b a b a right so yahan pe violation points one two three and four you can clearly see that right so there is a four violation points and i can clearly see that if i remove greedily if i remove this first b and then second b and then you will do all the three A's, so my entire step will be three. So that will be my the minimum number of steps I will be requiring, right? So let us remove the first B here, and the string will change to A A B A, right? So now the number of violation points is what? One and two, so it is two, right? And now I will remove this B again, and the current that string is having comprises of three consecutive A's, which is now the violation point is zero. And I can again see that this is n, this is n minus two, and this is n minus four, right? But still, this is for the even number i want a test case where the number of violation points become odd so let me think of it and uh, get back to you so okay so i have to think of a particular test case so let's say you have b a b a and b a right so what's the number of violation points here it would be 1 2 3 4 and 5 definitely i have five violation points and greedily if i see if i can remove this b first and this b and this b at third point and all the three consecutive a will be removed and the total number of minimum steps will be four or on the contrary i can i can also do that uh, uh at uh, first i remove the first a and then the second a and then the third a and then i can remove all the three consecutive b's right so again your steps will be four okay so let us follow the greedy uh dry run right so let us remove this b first and my current string will be a b a b a so what's the number of violation point again so it is 1 2 3 and 4 right so it is 4 so what can i say uh, let's remove this b again and my current string will be a a b a so what's the number of violation point it is 1 and 2 so this is 2 right let's remove the b again and the current string updated is Triple A and the violation points are zero. So as you can see, if n is odd, then what you are doing, you are doing n minus one, right? And then you are doing n minus two, and then you are doing n minus what? Uh, what? First of all, one se decrement kiya, and then we decremented with two, and then again we decremented it with two. Hai na? We are we are we keep on decrementing that. ठीक है. Hmm. Okay. 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 ठीक है. तो मैं यहाँ लिखूँ क्या लेट्स से एन माइनस वन है लेट्स से योर न्यू एन इज अपडेटेड टू एन माइनस वन लेट्स से सिंस दिस इज ऑड एंड दिस इज एन माइनस टू एंड दिस इज एन माइनस फोर राइट सो एन इज नथिंग बट योर फोर ठीक है तो ये तो मैं एक फॉर्ड लुप इस्तेमाल करके निकाल लूँ बट कैन आई डू समथिंग इवन मोर ऑप्टिमाइज वेल नॉट यूजिंग अ वाइल लुक बिकॉज मैं देख पा रहा हूँ कि एन से मैं एन माइनस टू जा रहा हूँ एन माइनस फोर जा रहा हूँ देन एन माइनस सिक्स जा रहा हूँ तो दैट इज आई एम डिक्रीमेंटिंग ऑलवेज इन द इंटरवल ऑफ टू So instead, why not just return the n by two, right? So if this n is nothing but the number of violation points. So let us name that variable as count. And since two is decrement, कर रहे हर एक step में, तो हम हर बार two से छोटा कर रहे हैं, तो हम पूरे को ही two से छोटा कर देते हैं एक ही बार में. 
फोर बाई टू अगर लेट से अगर आई इफ आई डू फोर बाई टू देन आई गेटिंग एन आंसर एस टू बट द आंसर इज थ्री राइट सो लेट इज डू प्लस वन ये कम्प्लीटली हिट एंड ट्रायल एंड ड्राइरन है यार ठीक है इसी को कहते हैं स्किल बिल्डिंग ठीक है ये करते करते ही आता है पैटर्न देखते हैं फोर बाई टू प्लस वन सो दैट गिव्स यू एस थ्री राइट तो कैन वी डू द सेम थिंग हाँ तो आप मुझसे पूछ सकते हो भैया बाई टू क्यों किया क्योंकि भैया मैंने आई सॉ दैट वी आर ऑलवेज डिक्रीमेंटिंग इट बाई टू तो इट इज एज इक्व टू से कि पूरे नंबर को बाई टू कर दो है ना बस कि तुम एक एक बार टू को सब ट्रैक कर रहे हो Now let us see if we can find any pattern regarding n equals to five, right? So if I do five by two plus one, what would be my answer? Five by two is two plus one is three, but the answer is four, right? So what can I do is that I can return count plus one by two, right? And plus one, so it will give me six by two plus three, and it will give me four. Either I can use this, or I can. मेरे पास थ्री आ रहा था लेट्स से उसमें एक और प्लस वन ऐड कर दो. So मेरे कहने का मतलब है कि what I can return is count by two plus two. इससे भी मारा आंसर आ जाएगा है कि नहीं सो इधर यू कैन यूज दिस आंसर फॉर द काउंट गोज एज ऑर्ड और यू कैन यूज दिस दिस आंसर फॉर द काउंट इज ऑर्ड एंड इफ द काउंट इज इवन यू कैन जस्ट रिटर्न काउंट बाय टू प्लस वन ठीक है तो तुरंत से एक सूडो कोड लिख लेते हैं इसके लिए सूडो कोड कैसे वर्क करेगा कि मैं क्या लिख दू फॉर आई प्लस टू जीरो तो आई लेस देन एस डॉट लेन मैं ट्रावर्स कर लूँ और एस आई प्लस प्लस ठीक है डोंट माइंड माय हैंड राइटिंग जस्ट फॉलो द लॉजिक तो आई कोशू जीरो नहीं बिकॉज हम बिहाइंड कैरेक्टर से कंपेयर कर रहे वी आर ऑलवेज कंपेयरिंग विद द बिहाइंड कैरेक्टर सो आई हैव टू स्टार्ट इट फ्रॉम आई कोस टू वन तो मैं क्या लिख सकता हूं कि इफ लेट्स से एस ऑफ आई माइनस वन इफ इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू एस ऑफ आई देन वॉट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू डू काउंट प्लस प्लस एंड इफ काउंट इज लेट से इवन राइट देन वॉट यू नीड टू रिटर्न इज काउंट बाई टू प्लस वन एंड इफ इट इज इफ इट इज ऑड देन यू नीड टू रिटर्न इधर काउंट प्लस वन बाई टू प्लस वन बाई टू प्लस वन और यू कैन इवन रिटर्न काउंट बाई टू प्लस टू ठीक है एक ही बात है है ना तो ठीक है आई गेस दैट इज इट ठीक है तो नाउ आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू गाइस कि अगर ये इफ यू आर नॉट एबल स्टिल टू डाइजेस्ट दिस लॉजिक और इंट्यूशन देन ट्राई रनिंग सम मोर टेस्ट केस है ऑलरेडी शोड यू फॉर टू फोर टेस्ट केस Try for two, three more, and you will eventually get it. But अगर फिर भी नहीं समझ आ रहा तो you can revert back the video again and you can uh, listen to all the why. Because for before doing each and every set, I have clearly mentioned why I am doing this, right? Because that is very important. So ठीक है. तो अगर ये question आपसे पहली बार में नहीं हो पाया, right? तो कोई बात नहीं है. Don't need to be frustrated and demotivated. Uh, it will definitely come in time. At least मेरे साथ यही हुआ. So I hope आपके साथ भी यही होगा. ठीक <laughs> है. So Let's pause the video for maybe five to six minutes and try uh, running this pseudo code uh, yourself from your side, right? And then we will resume the video. Okay. Okay, so that's the exact pseudo code I have coded here in, the, in my code editor. We maintain a count that is the number of violation points, and then we have this. Uh, we are maintaining the violation points using this if statement. And if it's odd, we are writing count plus one by two plus one else by two plus one. That's it. What would be the size, time complexity of this? Since you're using just a for loop, so it would be O of string length. And if you see the constraint of string length is nothing but 10 power 5, which is definitely less than 10 power 8. So if our if our code and approach is right, then definitely it will get submitted. Let us verify that. Before verifying it, what would be the space complexity? Since we are not using any space, just some variables, so that will be O of 1. और इस क्वेश्चन को करने का इंट्यूशन क्या था यार? First I started with the brute force, और मैंने देखा कि the brute force which I am thinking will not work. और सम अदर टेस्ट केसेस तो उसको उसी समय छोड़ देने का है ना एंड स्टार्ट थिंकिंग जब आप एक एक थॉट ले लेते हो ना देन यू हैव सम आइडिया टू हाउ टू प्रोसीड ऑन विद द सेकंड थॉट सो दैट वाज द थिंग एंड आई प्रोसीडेड ऑन विद दैट व्हाट्स टू से आइडिया एंड देन वी डिड दिस राइट सो लेट अस हिट द सबमिट बटन एंड देन वी विल वेरीफाई फॉर आवरसेल्व्स सो ग्रेट द टेस्ट केसेस हैव बीन पास सक्सेसफुली So, what would be the alternative in the C++ code? How can we write in C++? So, this is a very simple code, I guess. You'll be able to uh, do it yourself, maybe. So, here we do not have a length, right? And we have a size function, and also we don't have caret. We can just uh, access while using the big brackets. Let me do that. So, that's the entire changes that need to be done in C++. So, that is it. All the success. Test cases has been passed successfully via the C++ code as well. So, ठीक है मिलते हैं कल के future week के day one day sixty six में. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye and take care. And one last thing that if you are again new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe because it actually takes time and patience to make the video for you guys and for me as well. <laughs>
तो ठीक है जस्ट सब्सक्राइब इट सो दैट वी कैन मीट अगेन टुमारो विद द फुल एनर्जी एंड द मोटिवेशन ठीक है बाय बाय